back. More Tales of Berseria. We're frosty. Know what that is? Fuck you, ghost. Woo! It's a big They get sideburns. Mercio? Three days on watch with no sleep? I was ten freaking minutes late! It's not like the mine is gonna fall apart! Hey, uh... Sure, whatever! If you got business here, go on in! Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> They'll pay for this! many people lived up here on the northern edge of the world. This town was built around the mining of flamestone, which can only be found here on Mount Kilaraus. 
So if anything happens to the volcano, this town's screwed. So releasing the two souls here will surely destroy the town. Inhuman, aren't I? Curse me all you want. I have no right to. The Abbey has proven itself just as heartless. People living here must have the will to endure the cold, to fight back against this pitiless environment. I'd rather have that strength than feel nothing in the face of my troubles and pain. Agreed. A life without feeling is a box of stupid. Yes, a vast container of... Uh, of stupid. Right. The question is, can we wake up all four elemental Empyreans with the souls Velvet has absorbed? If Inominat's revival and the Empyrean slumber are related, we should assume we need all four Empyreans to stop him. I think I'll only be able to wake two. There are only two souls left inside of me. Teresa's and Oscar's. Are you sure? Yes. I can tell. I don't know if two Empyreans will be enough to fight him. This is my responsibility. I offer my own soul- well, If we don't have enough, let's knock on Shigure's door. His soul would make a fine sacrifice. Old man Melky or two. His heart's as cold as a witch's teat, but he's free of malevolence. You're truly ready to take on two leggets at once? I was born ready. It's not like they'll sit back and ignore us anyway. And with Artorius and Inominat all tied up with their suppression party, this is the perfect chance to take them out. <sighs> Acting with caution is... a box of stupid, I take it? <laughs> now you're catching on. All right. Leave it to me. So, I'm all stoked for the god waking, but what's the plan? The road to the volcano is on the other... Have you heard the rumors about the Lord of Calamity? No. What rumors? That deadly demon whose rampage began in Helavis. The Abbey finally got her. I heard that she bites anyone who meets her gaze, that she devours humans as a snack, and that she has the head of a wolf. I was terrified of what might happen if she showed up here. Now, I can finally rest easy, knowing that she's gone. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get bitten, that's for sure. I know. I'm so relieved. I don't want a demon to kill me. Definitely not. In fact, if you ever meet one, you should run. Fast. Mercio has been getting colder every year. We used to have a spring and summer, short though they were. Now we're the town of eternal winter. It sounds like a tough place to live. Still, flamestone is used for more than just heating. People all over the world need it, you know? That's why no matter how tough it gets, we keep on with our lives here, while holding pride in our work. No matter how cold it gets, this place is our home. The warmth inside our hearts can keep the chill away. This town really is warm, then, in body and soul. Oh, I like the way you talk. Make sure to take a dip in our hot spring before you leave. Oh, here's a tip. The water is scalding hot, so put some snow in to lower the temperature. Snow in the tub, got it? What a peaceful, serene place. You sure it isn't just the snow? But doesn't it look pure and beautiful? Well, I think it's pretty, too. But that doesn't guarantee the citizens will be. <sighs> Not you too, Aizen. Well, they're kind enough to let a shirker stand out in the cold for three days. He might have been up to no good. Every town has sunny spots and shadows. I'm well aware of that, but this discussion isn't leading anywhere. We'll know once we go see for ourselves. Just think of it like your old job. Investigate and find the truth. Yes, I believe I shall. The gatekeeper, he wasn't mean to you, was he? He was pretty angry about being forced to watch the gate, but he let us pass through no problem. I know that being forced to be on watch for three days straight is excessively harsh, but still. He wandered here from another town one day. He barely ever does any work and has a habit of pilfering things. He skipped out on his duties in the flamestone mines, and while we were busy working, 
He was sneaking into our empty houses to steal things. So that's why you made him stand at the edge of the village. Yeah. We're bringing him food, of course. We told him that if he doesn't like it, he can leave. Still, is he actually accomplishing anything out there? He may be bold enough to rob us, but he's a real coward. If a demon showed up, he'd shut the gates and come running. He doesn't have anywhere else to go, so we're hoping that eventually he'll realize the error of his ways. If you keep forcing him to stand out there in the cold, he might find another place to go. The afterlife. hunting for some good AMVs right now. If you have any good AMVs, please recommend in chat. Always a big fan. Message for the Abbey's legates. On the next Scarlet Night, I will offer a sacrifice to Mount Killerhouse and strip Enominot of his power. I dare them to try and stop me! She just ate the demon with her arm! She's. I am corruption made flesh! Velvet! The Lord of Calamity! <laughs> this city is ours! Flee to the south, puny humans, while your tears dump the snow! The demon lord of Hurry, before our dark mistress sucks the marrow from your very bones! She lead us all! Run for it! We should do this more often. It went well, except... Ow! What was that for? There will be no sucking of marrow. My sister taught me proper table manners. Oh, what a waste. The marrow's the tastiest part. <laughs> it kinda is. At least now the citizens of Mercio won't be swept up in our fight. They already are. We just tore their homes and livelihoods away. This wasn't for them. This was to summon the legates here. That's all. Even so, I thank you for what you've done, O oh fearsome Lord of Calamity. I'll pretend I didn't hear that, O oh exalted Praetor of the Abbey. A whole crowd of people were fleeing south. What happened? Benwick, why are you here? I had a delivery for the first mate. Kurogane and Kamoana are here too. You brought Kamoana? She absolutely insisted on following me. 
poor kid said she had a dream that you died, Eleanor. Come on. How long do we have until Shigure and the others get here? Hmm. Given the distance, my guess is they won't show up until the Scarlet Night. Then I think I'll make use of that time. Kurogane wanted me for something, I take it? Aye, that's what he said. All right, then. Everyone go rest up. Good idea. We've got a battle to prepare for. This may be the last breather we get. As always, better make sure you leave no regrets. Huh. <sighs> Fee. Anything could happen. Don't leave town. Can I... Can I stay with you, Velvet? I don't mind, but... You sure? Yeah. Do what you like, then. Writing another letter to your sister? Nope. This time she sent one to him. <laughs> Man, she hardly ever writes back. Hope this ain't a bad omen. Shut it. Aizen, that's great news. I told her about all of you in my last letter. Seems she was amused. 
says you sound appropriate for me, and she'd love to meet you. Weird sister you've got. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> A girl weird enough to want to live alongside the Reaper, no matter the cost. I'd love to meet her, too. I'll warn you. Touch my sister and I'll kill you. Right? Sheesh, you say that to every guy you meet. Awfully protective. Nah, just obsessed. That's even worse. We'll all go meet her together someday. I like your confidence. Aww. Yeah, I man the wheel of my own ship. I, as do I, and all of you. And even her. I have no idea how this will taste. You've been warned. Having fun? Uh, uh, Kamawana insisted that we play, so... Madam Eleanor! I followed Kamawana for you. She's hiding right over there. Wow. Cheating against a kid? That's low. I didn't! Bad Bianfu! No cheating! Huh? But when I play with Miss Maki Lu, she always makes me do that. She's a terrible influence on you. Eleanor! Why aren't you looking for me? I found you, Kamoana! And Dial! What? No fair! See? That's cheating! I didn't cheat. I simply <laughs> utilized Bianfu's cheating. That's called strategy. <laughs> Plans must be solid and reactions flexible, right? Right. See, Kamoana? I'm smart and strong. You don't have to worry about me. Don't worry. I believe in you, Eleanor. I'm just worried that Bianfu will get you in trouble. Why am I the bad guy now? I can handle Bianfu, too. Don't worry. I'll make sure everyone makes it back safe. Okay, it's a promise. Come on, Anna. If you're feeling better now, head back, okay? It's too cold, you'll go into hibernation. No sleeping! Dial's it next, cause he's a crocodile! I'm not a crocodile, I'm a lizard. Isn't that the same thing? Not even close! You think crocodiles can regrow their tails? It has to be possible. There must be a way to make a better world for everyone. Humans, demons, Malakim, and I intend to find it. It might take years. No, decades, centuries, generations. Even if it takes me millennia, I'll do it. Playing the long game, I take it? I believe in you, Eleanor. You'll find a way. I will. Once I've made up my mind, nothing can stop me. Yep. Trust me, we know. Yep. 
playing with the doggies. What's that sound? It's Kurogane. He must be forging another sword. He certainly is. The old fellow's forging himself into a blade. He's turning himself into a sword? He can do that? Is that possible? Who knows? Either way, it's what he decided to do. We had one last drink together. You'd go that far to defeat Shigure and Stormhowl. I would. I'll turn a friend into a sword to kill my own brother. I'm a jerk. I'm in no position to judge. I think you are. Whatever you may look like, you're human. You hate because you love, and feel as much hurt as you do anger. That's human. <laughs> Kurogane is with me. He agreed to it. What our blacksmith friend feels towards Stormhowl is more than resentment. It's admiration, too. That's why he wanted to do it. He wanted to put everything he had into one final clash. Shigure is the same. He has that very human strength to take the good along with the bad and just keep pushing ahead. A strength that I, as a demon, can never match. Brooding doesn't suit you, Rokuro. You wanted to be a swordsman greater than any other. That's why you fought and bled to perfect your skills. That's the sort of man you are. Yep, that's who I am. I like that part of you, Rokuro. Me too. Thanks. Lord of Calamity, your schemes are your own business. But I won't stand by if Kamawana's fate is involved. It's a bit late for that. If you mean to stop me, you'll have to strike me down first. You asked for it. Uh, I found an inn with a nice big hot spring. Warm yourself up before you catch cold. What a darling you are! I'll take you up on that. Gotta conserve my strength. Good idea. Fee, want to join me? What? No, no way! No need to hold back on my account. The bath at the inn should be huge. That's not the problem! Achoo! See? Hurry up and get in. Uh, why do you do this to me? I'll bathe alone, thank you. You go first. <laughs> fine, fine. Uh. 
What is it? Just a little errand. Watch these folks for a bit, all right? Looks like you got our message. You plan on awakening the four Empyreans? Age hasn't dulled your wits, I see. Surely you know the consequences. You know the chaos you will bring if you take that route. Oh yeah, so much chaos. You know me not amplified resonance will return to normal, the Malachim will regain free will. Many exorcists will lose their power to do whatever they do, and the Abbey will lose its means of control. While the demon threat will remain unchanged. Not only that, but the elemental balance of this world will be thrown into turmoil for hundreds of years. Earth will shift, skies will go mad, seas will swell, volcanoes will erupt. It'll be quite a show. All of civilization will regress. The eruption of Mount Kilaros alone will rob humanity of its source of flamestone, and consequently, of gunpowder. Uh-oh. Mmm, sounds fun. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure mankind will think of something. Go humans! Right? Just what do you think humans are? The wellspring of all malevolence. Thus must emotion be quelled and reason bring order to the world, until the day that humanity can repent and overcome their sins. I get that right? You did. Inomi not was awakened for that very purpose. We are the instruments of change, hated for our sacrifice. We are the shadow of the shepherd who brings salvation. Will you not return to our side? You still seem to think of yourself as a maven. I can think of nothing more boring than your ideal world. It is a world of purity. A garden of fake flowers, good for show and nothing else. It's a world of order built on righteous ideals. Those ideals are twisted! Can a flower hold beauty if it does not wilt? Can a wolf be satisfied eating grass? The thought makes me rich, as do those who wish for it, and those content to live in shackles! Let the biting bugs go ahead and eat what they want to eat. Let the weeds grow where they want to grow! Some may look down on them and scoff at their foolishness, but their unwavering wills are proof that they're alive! If that's what you call evil, then I will live and die with evil as my mantra! Then I have no choice but to crush you. Used to treating people as bugs, aren't you? We got your back, Magilu. Wait. Now is not the time. His life belongs to the Lord of Calamity. Melky or Maven? I'll see you at the volcano. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to be there as you breathe your last. Very well. It will save me the trouble of having to crush you one by one. You haven't changed at all, Master. Ah, oh, what a nice bath. Anime cutscene? How what? was the men's side? Uh, not bad. I feel warmer now. Hmm? Your face is all red. In there too long? Uh, 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 no, um... I feel fine. 
<laughs> oh. You mind? Help me comb my hair. Can I? Yes, please. Be careful, okay? I can't contain it. Uh. Mm. You know something, Velvet? Your hair is really beautiful. Uh. You know, that power that I have... If I could master the Silver Flame... I might be able to turn you back into a human. A human, huh? If we ever had a chance to start over, I'd love to cook for you every day. Aww. My quiches are much better than anything they sell the in the store. The quiche! It's all okay, about the quiche. then I'll fetch the water and chop the firewood. <laughs> all by yourself? Of course! I'm gonna get a lot taller soon. And I'm gonna get stronger, too. Yes, you will. I know you will. Great! Then I'll start looking for a way to master- No. Uh. It's too late. I've made too many sacrifices. Too many to ever come back from. I can't. But, Velvet... Even worse, I haven't stopped. I'm willing to sacrifice others to keep going forward. If we kill Inomi not. What will happen to the Therians who are part of him? Will they return to normal? Well... It's likely that they'll all die. I know it. I dug my own grave. But what about Kamoana and Medissa? Uh... More importantly, what about Yuffie? You are connected to him. Uh... I know I might die if I go through with this, but still I have to do it. Even if it means I have to sacrifice. Everyone that I know, even you who saved me. The Lord of Calamity isn't a demon lord. She's just a selfish, horrible girl. I have something to confess. <laughs> I... I don't like being called Fee. I really don't. Yeah, I figured. I think that name's too childish. Moffy said the same thing to me. I'm sure that he did. Velvet, you really don't understand boys at all. Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. It's okay. Forgive you. <laughs> Thanks, Lonson. Thank you, Luffy said. What do you want your name to be? You gotta pick a new name. I'll look like the Wolverine. <laughs> Is Velvet in there? Uh, y yeah, but now's not the best time. I'm here. Dry up. Break time's over. The Leggets have arrived. Another scarlet night. Losing your nerve, Velvet? I think not. Don't worry. Leave Shigure to me. Where's Kurogane? Here with me. Kurogane and I will cut Shigure down. And Aizen. Sorry, but Melchior's mine to eat. Got it? Got it. 
But at the very least, you're gonna let me watch. Mogulu, you do whatever you want. Go nuts out there. I'm always nuts! Benwick, when you see your chance, take the others back to the Von Eltia and await orders. Aye, aye. Luffy said. Let's go. Let's do it. Eleanor, keep Luffy set safe, please. I will. Worry not. Let's move. We go to kill the Exorcist Legates and engulf this world in the flames of chaos. Alright, that was pretty cool. A merchant friend who works with the Abbey told me about this one weird class 4 island. Some exorcists went there, and when they came back... What sort of... Stuff like the walls moving and attacking them. Couldn't those just be... Hey, I ain't done. They hate it. I don't know. Maybe they... Your guess is... Don't worry, Kamawana. Here? It's just a... <laughs> All right. Velvet and her... It's a really... A How and... More than I... And right now... That sound... It is, but it just... Strange? Well... <laughs> that's... Yeah. I think I... Don't worry, and so are... The Kamawana. Or... No. <laughs> but if I... I know she... You're right. Yep. Oh. Surely there's some way we can save Kamawana and the others. I couldn't tell you. I just feel like I have to do something... For Kamawana. Hey, teacher, you managed to decipher what the ancient book had to say about Inominat's awakening, didn't you? Right after we escaped from Titania, yes. I'm just sorry it wasn't of much use to you. Oh, come on, Grim. I'd say it turned out all right. That's not for you to decide. You're not seriously blaming Grim for all that. No, I'm not. But I'd still like to know anything more specific about Inominat. Please, tell us what you've learned. All right. What Inominat needs to fully awaken isn't a large quantity of malevolence, but rather the quality of it, in eight types. Specifically, he needs despair, hatred, greed, conceit, lust, obsession, cowardice, and selfishness. If each was assigned to a single Therian, then Velvet would be hatred and Kamawana greed, right? Medissa would be conceit. Teresa is lust. And Orthrus, obsession? And cowardice for Griffin. That leaves the Rhino Stagros with selfishness. But Artorius was trying to steal despair from me. How does that fit in? Eight types of malevolence and only seven Therians. It definitely doesn't add up. Whatever the case, it seems obtaining this eighth malevolence is the final obstacle before Inominot's full awakening. I see. That would certainly explain Artorius's behavior. His plan was to foster profound hatred within Velvet, before plunging her into despair. And he used her brother to do it. If that's true, gathering all the Therians served a greater purpose. Right now, the Abbey has no means to collect despair. But with Teresa dead, shouldn't a new Therian have taken her place? Yeah, but after we killed her, the Abbey still went out of their way to try to capture me. That must mean they haven't been able to secure the new Therian. And even if they did, it wouldn't have despair. That's a good point. Artorius spent three long years trying to foster the despair within you. If that is indeed the specific type of malevolence Inominat needs, it must not be something one can find overnight. Right. We need to attack while there's still time. Indeed. Yet... Is something troubling you? Yes. It comes down to the very idea of quality where malevolence is concerned. 
When you talk about the relative quality of something, what you're really talking about is its purity. That would mean that Therians pick out and devour this pure malevolence. Yeah. But malevolence by its very nature is impure. Therefore, for some person or creature to become a Therian, they'd need to be responsive to a purity of impurity. Surely few could ever meet such a stringent criterion. So we don't need to worry so much? Oh, but I think I know someone who fits that description. Perhaps a certain succession of top exorcists who have tried to suppress and purify the spread of malevolence. You don't mean... It's just a concern. For now, at least. I think these are all just straight better.
Alright, I think we're gonna call that a video. Save and pick it up from there. Actually, I think we're gonna call it a stream, actually. We will be back. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.